Katie. We are in my bathroom because I've accumulated a, a little bit too much uh, skincare and hair care, just a little bit too much. And so I want to declutter some of it because I know some of it I don't use. And uh, so I'm just gonna get rid of some stuff and go through my whole collection of skincare, uh, body care, like lotions and stuff and hair care. And I might do another one of these videos with my makeup, but I'm not sure. So maybe in the future for that. But for right now, let me show you what I'm working with now. Um, I took some of the stuff already out of the drawer, so it's very messy on top of my um, vanity. But hi, that's me. Um, okay, so there's some stuff. And <laughs> there's some stuff. And then I also have stuff under here. Yeah, that's way too much, Katie. That's way too much. You have one body and one head with hair on it. You do not need all this stuff. Because I also, I also have <sighs> right here a few more things. Just a few more, but still a few more. So I'm going to put all of this uh, somewhere, maybe right here, because I just have like an open space right there. I'm going to put all of it on the floor and then go through it. Because this is. It's, you know, it's getting a little ridiculous. When I was living in the car full time, I had to be very careful with, uh, with what I bought because I didn't have a lot of space. Having an apartment is much more dangerous <laughs> because you could see something at TJ Maxx or see something on sale or see something that looks really nice and uh, buy it. And then you end up having too much stuff, which is what happened to me. So I'm going to set up my camera, get all my stuff out, put it on the floor, and then we're gonna go through it. So if you guys like decluttering videos and also want to see some of the skincare and stuff that I've been loving lately and go through that as well, just keep watching. Also, look at my panda socks. The most stylish person on YouTube. Wow, this is so much stuff. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Please don't make fun of me, I'm already embarrassed. Okay, man, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, all right, is that? Okay, I think that that's everything. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so this is my, <laughs> can you even see everything? I think so. <sighs> don't yell at me, I'm already embarrassed. I know, I know. Um, but also stay tuned for the end of this video because a lot of this stuff is like sample sizes of stuff that I get from Sephora or whatever. And um, I might be giving some things away maybe. So I only know at the end of the video <laughs> if that's what I'm going to do. So stay tuned um, because I might have a little giveaway going on. So, okay. What we need to do is I need to pour everything on the ground. Oh man, this is going to be difficult. Also, how do I have so much stuff? When did this happen? Like honestly, when did this happen? First, let's do some things like I know that I'm keeping because I really, really love. Uh, so like this hairspray I really like. This is the Amica, the Shield Style Extending Spray. It's not a crunchy hairspray, uh, but it does help my hair stay a little like wavy for the whole day. So I really like this. I got this at TJ Maxx for $10. So I really like that. I'm just gonna put everything in these bins for now. The things that I'm keeping, I'll put that there. Um, and then I, I might have a maybe pile that like of things that I'm gonna try over the next week and then get rid of, so we'll see. Anyway, I'm definitely getting rid of this because I do not like this. This is the IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. This is the dry shampoo for like really, 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 really oily hair. And I was like, yeah, give me that because I don't like to wash my hair very often. I wash my hair like twice a week. And so there's a couple days a week that my hair, if like it, it needs dry shampoo, you know? So I got this a while ago maybe over the summer or something and i do not like it it is too heavy for my hair and it leaves like like you can feel it in your hair it's too heavy for my hair so i'm definitely getting rid of that um just don't like it do not like it i'm also gonna get rid of this it's almost it's like two-thirds empty anyway and i just didn't like it this is the bio bio sense bio sense i don't know how to say this word and i should learn because half the stuff in here is from this brand but this is the um, squalene and tea tree balancing oil. And I don't love this. My skin is pretty normal dry, but it is kind of acne prone. And tea tree is supposed to be good for that. And so I tried this and I used it for several weeks, but it just, 
I, I just didn't like it. And I have another acne kind of thing that I like better. So I'm gonna get rid of that. See, these are some things that I might give away. This is a little Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I have a giant one of these because I love this. This is incredible lotion and it's very expensive. This was like $45 or something stupid. I mean, it would last for a really long time, but holy crap, it's incredible. So I have the big one of these, but I have a little trial size of this. So if I'm gonna do a little giveaway, I'm probably just gonna put this in the giveaway. This I like and I'm gonna keep and I need to Put it with the other ones because they're definitely more this is a little trial size of clinique take the day off that i got you guys all of these are from like when you order from sephora if you have any points they let you like choose from the little point system but also they give away tons of stuff so i think this was just one of like the giveaway things that anyone could get even if you don't have any points so i'm definitely keeping this and this i keep out like i keep it in my living room love 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 so i'm gonna keep that uh i mean i'll still put it over here but that actually goes i keep it in my living room this i just got this was like a little 100 point perk or something this is the super berry hydrate and glow dream mask from youth to the people this is a sleep mask you guys know like trying out skincare but i don't want to keep doing that as much over the next honestly the next at least six months i feel like i have way enough skincare to last me the next six months and so you guys know that you're like doing no buys to kind of like where I don't buy something for you know a month or whatever. And I think I might do a skincare no buy for the next at least three months, just because I have enough. I'll go through that. I have enough and I don't need any more. And there's a few things already that I know that I even want to get rid of, but then there's definitely enough to last me for like six months or so. But I do like trying some new things. So I definitely am going to keep that. I just got this when I order something from Sephora the other day. So I'm definitely gonna keep that and try that. So keeping with some of the skincare stuff that I really love. So during the day, if you wanna know like my mini skincare routine, that maybe I'll like show you at some point one day, but this is my mini skincare routine during the day for the past week or two, and I really like this. So I'm using the Ren Evercom Non-Drying Acne Treatment Gel, and I just put this all over, essentially like this part of my face. I don't put it on my forehead because I don't generally get acne on my forehead, but I put it on my cheeks. And I get a lot of acne like around my mouth and like my jawline. So I put that there and I've been liking that. And then I put the Ren Clean Skin Care Clear Comp 3 Replenishing Gel Cream on top of it as my daytime moisturizer. And I've been using the Bi Biosense, Bios, Biosense, uh, Squalene and Marine Algae Eye Cream as well. I use this day and night. And again, I've only been using these for a couple weeks, so I don't have like, oh my gosh, they're my holy grail. I'm obsessed with them, but I have been liking them. So that has been my daytime routine. Then my nighttime routine has been very simple. I take a makeup wipe generally, wipe my face, and then I'll just take my face wash, which I actually have a second one, so I'll just show you what it is really quick. It's the Suki Skincare. This is probably my favorite face wash in the history of the world. I've gone through so many of these. This is the Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I just love this. I love how it makes my skin feel. So I already have one. It was like buy one, get one free or something. They had a sale a while ago, so I got two of these. So one is already my shower. This is my backup. I'm definitely keeping that. So yeah, so I'll like do that. If I take my makeup off and then I'm gonna go do that, I might rinse my face really quick just using that really quick. And then I will put on this. I, again, will been used for a couple weeks, but I really, really like this. this is the bio, Biosense, whatever that word is, Squalene and Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. And so I've just been putting this on with the eye cream and then that's all I've been doing. So I need to do a little bit of research to see if like I can put this plus this overnight mask. I probably can, cause I'm pretty sure that you can even put Oh yeah, this even says put moisturizer on afterwards if needed. So these are the products I've been using lately that I love. I'm not gonna put them in there because these stay on my vanity. I need to move because my hip is starting to hurt. <laughs> I'm old. Okay, I know that I'm keeping these. These are Olaplex number three. It's like the repair, uh, the bonding one, like the bonding repair hair thing. I have a full size of these, but then they had like a free samples of them from Sephora. So I got these, so those I'm definitely keeping. Oh, let's make one of these hair care and one of these like skin and body. So this is gonna go with the hair stuff. Okay, what are you? Seaweed hydrating soothing body cream. I honestly don't know. I, I like to think of things in terms of the car because you guys know I'm living in an apartment right now, but also I'm sure most of you guys know that I've lived in a car for like three years before I moved into here. Oh, this is pretty nice. <laughs> actually but so i really like to downsize in a way thinking okay how will this fit in the car will it fit nicely in the car 
you know, do I love it? Am I going to use it? That kind of system of Marie Kondo, you know what I mean? But this is, this is actually pretty nice. It's a little greasy. So like, I wouldn't necessarily put this on my hands during the day, but this is pretty nice. Um, but again, do I need this and this giant tub of the boom boom cream? Oh, P.S. It's spelled B-U-M-B-U-M, -B -U -M, but it's pronounced boom boom. Learn that on their website. So this, it's like, okay, think like, would it be worth keeping one in the back seat, one in the front seat? So like I put this in the back seat and use this before I go to sleep. Or would it be worth having a backup or be worth having one in my overnight bag? Stuff like that. Like that's what I think about when it comes to stuff like this. This is gonna go in the maybe pile because I also have this and this is like a mildly regrettable purchase. This is the Skin Fix Resurface AHA Renewing Cream clinically proven to smooth, dry, rough, bumpy skin and KP. I just probably didn't need this. I do have rough patches. They're not KP, but I do have rough patches on my arm. This probably is another maybe as well. Like I probably, cause I'm gonna be here another six weeks. So I don't have to completely downsize to the car yet. And so maybe I will put this on my arms every day for the next six weeks and see if it actually helps. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Cause this is I mean, I mean, it's a big tub. I'm sure this was kind of expensive. I want to try it. So I will keep this out as well to remind myself. This I'm gonna keep, even though I already have an eye cream that I like. This is just another eye cream, but it's from Suki and I love Suki skincare. I'm gonna keep this as either a backup or um, this is a day cream. So maybe I'll start using this during the day and this one at night or something, but I definitely am gonna keep this. <sighs> Katie, all right, you're not doing a great job, okay. See, but then I have like 4,000 other freaking eye creams because I've tried so many and never, ever, ever see a difference. Maybe I'm expecting like crazy results and I just haven't seen them, but I'm just gonna get rid of these. These are both the Skin Fix Brightening Eye Cream. They're both the Brightening Eye Cream, but I have them in two completely different containers. I don't know why, but I'm just gonna get rid of them. I, I actually had these, I've had these for a while and I would use them, but then again, I just didn't, I think I got them both from TJ Maxx, so they were very inexpensive, but uh, I just, I don't know, never saw results and don't have really a reason to keep them. I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, this is the Andalou Pumpkin Honey Glycolic Mask. And the sole reason I'm getting rid of this is because it grosses me out. I used it once, uh, which is definitely not really enough to notice a difference. Sometimes you can use a mask and notice after one time if you like it or not. But this, I couldn't really tell. But it's literally, it's like you're putting pumpkin on your face, which is fine. And it smells really good. But, I mean, if you like the smell of pumpkin. but it's having it on my face and it's like clumpy and then taking it off, I just, it freaks me out. So I'm getting rid of that. It just like ugh, weirds me out. Okay, this, ah, this is a mildly regrettable purchase just cause it's such a big tub. This is the Amica Triple RX mask. I'm going to keep this. What I'll probably do when I move back into the car is get a smaller container and put like half of this in there. Okay. So many things, we gotta go through this quicker. Okay, the Joyco Blonde Life Brightening Mask. I'm gonna get rid of this because my hair is barely even blonde. <laughs> and I've used this a few times and I've never really seen a difference with it. But also I'm probably gonna dye my hair darker soon anyway. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. But the thing that I am gonna keep while my hair is still a little bit lighter is these IGK Mixed Feelings Leave-In Blonde Toning Drops. They're just purple drops that you can put into your shampoo conditioner or your styling products that are supposed to brighten a little bit. Cause like my hair's not like, dark dark but it's there's not a lot of blonde in it anymore um but there's some and so this will still help brighten the blonde just like that's why i have like purple shampoo and stuff it'll help brighten any brassiness so i'm definitely keeping those I'm definitely keeping the not your mother's plump for joy dry shampoo it's my favorite dry shampoo my other favorite dry shampoo at the moment is a living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo i really like that this one's a little bit stronger i would say and that one's obviously more expensive because that you get from sephora but I think this is like a hundred point perk actually, but the Not Your Mother's you can get from like Walmart. They have the tiny size and the big size. And then probably my favorite one. Okay, see, and then I have all these things that like, I get so sucked in at TJ Maxx. I ha luckily have not done it in a while. All this new skincare that I bought, all this like bio sense stuff that I got is from Sephora. And that was cause like I wanted to try another brand. I also really like Ren as well, but I get sucked in at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stuff in their skincare section. This is the Michelle Serious Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic Firming Serum. And I got this probably a year ago at TJ Maxx. 
And did it do anything? I don't know because I have had so much skincare that like sometimes I use the same thing over and over again. Like I went through, um, one of my favorite nighttime moisturizers was the Ren, the purple one. So like the anti-aging one, I really like that. I finished that whole bottle, but so much skincare, especially when I go to TJ Maxx and I just buy a bunch of stuff that's like $12. And then I will use it for a couple weeks and I'll just completely forget about it or I'll use something else. And I, I feel like a lot of times I don't give it a fair try because I have too much and I go back and forth, which it's because I like trying it so much, but I'm just realizing that it's not helpful because I'm not actually using it enough to really see if it works. So I'm gonna get rid of this just because would I still use it? Absolutely, but I, I really wanna try some of the other stuff that I have more. Okay, I have a bunch of, and if you're wondering what, I don't even know if you can see this box, this is filled with little travel -y size of things because they had like a 500 point perk giving away a bunch of like Biosense stuff. Okay, oh gosh, okay, I'm getting rid of this. So you guys maybe know that the Ren Flash One Minute Facial is probably my favorite face mask, or one of them at least, one of my favorites. I love it. Um, I love that it's one minute because you can use it in the shower. But this is the Flash Hydro Boost Instant Plumping Emulsion. Don't need that anymore. Plump for joy, thickening hair lifter by Not Your Mother's. Yeah, let's keep this, especially since it's like a tiny little size. I'm gonna keep that. I have some hair cutting scissors, gonna keep those because sometimes I do cut my own hair. Okay, I have this hydrating body oil from Suki. I'm gonna keep that. Again, I really like Suki skincare stuff. I have an incredible clear acne spot gel from A Cure. I think I'm gonna get rid of this because I have this one from Ren that I really like. I'm gonna get rid of the A Cure one. Okay, actually these two things. I got, I had um, a, what is it called? BoxyCharm. I had BoxyCharm for a few months, which is one of those like makeup and skincare box subscription services. And they gave me these two products, which are both very expensive. They're both like worth $100. The box is only $25, but these are both worth $100 each. And I need to see, because I haven't opened or tried either of them yet, so I need to see if I really want to try them or if I want to maybe give one or both away. This is the LMS Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil, but I do have some of the Biosense Rose Oil, and so I don't know. I generally like to keep uh, to one brand of skincare or one or two brands of skincare, especially with the stuff that I'm using daily, um, just because from how I see it, they're created to work with other products in their lines, generally. That's kind of how I see it. So if I'm gonna use a rose oil and I'm gonna keep using that Biosense line, if I ever learn how to say their name, then I'm not gonna switch to just one Elemis product. If I wanted to completely switch to Elemis, perhaps, but I don't see myself doing that anytime soon because I like the Ren products and I like the Biosense products. That's probably what I'm gonna be mostly using uh, for the near future. And I also have a Kate Somerville Biomimicking Peptides Smooth and Firm serum i think yeah it's a serum so i just need to decide if i'm going to use either of these because if not i'm going to put these in like a little giveaway this is the under control finishing spray by sgx nyc this is hairspray i uh i wish this was smaller i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep using this uh until i leave and then probably get rid of it when i leave because i don't need a giant hairspray like this in the car especially when i have this one which honestly this one might be this one might be almost empty by the time uh, I move back into the car, but this one's more of like a light kind of hairspray and this is more like a hairspray hairspray. But when I move back to the car, what I'll probably do is just buy a tiny little thing of hairspray. The same with this, this mousse by the same brand, keep it and then probably get rid of it when I move. I have this AG Hair Care Repair Serum. See, I don't care as much about all the hair care stuff in terms of using the same brand. I don't know if it, I honestly don't even know if it matters, but this is a repair serum. This is uh, for like split ends. So then maybe I will keep that. Okay guys, we're almost done. I'm definitely keeping all these because I just bought them. These are the Peace Out Acne Wrinkles and Dark Spots. These are like little stickers that you put on your face. Uh, I've used the acne ones many times. I've never used the wrinkles or the dark spots ones, but I'm excited to use those. So definitely, definitely keeping those. I am keeping, oh jeez. Okay, these, I think I talked about in some recent video that these smell so good. These are the, Champagne inspired detangling spray and hair highlighter finishing cream by Unwind by Hask. I have used both of these and have seen nothing. Like they don't really do anything in my hair. They just smell so good. This is a highlighting cream, which like that sounds so fun, right? But definitely like I was thinking like it might have like little shimmers or something in it. 
but it um, doesn't. And so I don't think I'm gonna keep it. This is the Caviar Sheer Dry Shampoo. This is a powder, I'm gonna keep that. Right before I move out again, which is in about six weeks, I'm gonna go through all this again. It's gonna be much quicker, but I'm gonna go through all this again to show you guys kind of how I move back into the car and what I do with some of these products. So just in case you wanna see that, that will happen, but it'll be a much shorter segment of a video. I know this video is gonna be like at least a half hour. It's gonna be a much shorter segment because I'm already getting rid of most of the stuff. Uh, this is the Caviar Anti-Aging Infinite Color Hold Vitamin C Serum. This is gonna be another one of those things that I try. Derma E Acne Blemish Control Treatment Serum and Derma E Overnight Peel and Derma E Vitamin C Renewing Moisturizer. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the Blemish Control Treatment Serum because I have that red one and I do you like that red one? And then I have the overnight peel, but I also have this overnight thing, but this is an AHA, and I don't think I have anything else AHA. And then this is a like a daytime moisturizer. So these, I do like this brand. This is one of those all naturally kind of brands, but they're a little less expensive. You can get them at Ulta or Target, I think even sometimes. I'm gonna keep as backups for now. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're almost done guys. These I'm keeping, um, cause I'll definitely finish these before I leave cause there's only like 25 left. These are the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I got these in my box charm as well. Keeping this, this is the Sol de Janeiro. I don't know how to say that either. I'm not good with pronouncing things, I guess. This is the Goldie Rocks Glow Oil. I really like this. It's just like shimmery lotion. I love that, keeping that for sure. Just have a couple more Biosense little trial-y things. These are... There's three bobby pins in a thing, so I'm just gonna take bobby, bobby pins out and throw this away. I have a dry brush. I've never used it, obviously. It's still in the package. Um, do you guys use dry brushes? If you do, have you noticed any difference in your skin? I definitely want to start using this, so what I'm gonna do is take it out of the package, and I'm going to go hang it up when I get up. I'm gonna hang it up so I'm more likely to use it. I'm gonna get rid of this. It's the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Cream Shave Unscented. I don't like this. I use this like once or twice. It is so thick that it gets stuck in your razor. So it doesn't do, it doesn't, I don't like it. I don't like it. No, absolutely not. Okay, more little trials that I will go through very quickly at the end. And then I have this Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment. I am gonna get rid of this. This came in a little kit, like a, it had the eye wrinkle treatment the like a face wrinkle serum and a face wrinkle moisturizer. And those broke me out, I think, which is crazy because it's such a natural brand. But this is just eye serum, so I doubt it break me out, but I still A, don't need it because you guys have seen how many <laughs> eye creams I have, but I'm only keeping two. So I knew I had one more Ren product. This is the Anti-Wrinkle Concentrate Oil Bio-Retinoid. This is the same line as my favorite nighttime moisturizer by Ren. So maybe I should try this Oh man, another eye cream. We're getting rid of it. And then a vitamin C serum from Derma Doctor. Okay, I know that was like one second for you guys, but that just took me so long to find my other batteries. But they were in my backpack purse. Uh, of course, of course. Okay, only a few more things. And also I'm getting hungry, so I'm glad that this video is almost done, because I am hungry. Okay, so just a few more things. Oh crap, I was gonna decide this one while I was finding my battery, but I didn't. It's the Derma Doctor 20% vitamin C serum. Um, oh no, I have the vitamin C rose oil from the Biosense. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that as well. I'm gonna get rid of this, I think. This is a Fat Coat fat stick that's made from beef tallow. Yeah, I just don't, I just don't need that. Don't need it. This I need my sunscreen mousse from Supergoop. This I'm, wait a minute. This is for my, there's, <gasps> I just remembered that there's another bag that I forgot. Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna be so mad if there's a lot of stuff in it. Okay, there's not too much stuff in it. But I just remembered because I'm like, I definitely have two Origins masks, but there's only one here. But this is the original skin retexturizing mask. I love this, keeping that. But I also have the black one, and I don't know where it is. It is, in, is it in here? No, it's not even in here. What the heck, where is it? I wonder if it's in the car somewhere, if it like fell or something in the trunk because it's not in there. But anyway, the only things that are in here are the Derma E Deep Pore Acne Scrub. I love this. I have a Derma E scrub in my shower right now, but um, I like this one. So that I'm gonna use next. 
And then the only other things in here are a Brazilian Crush body spray, which I will probably never use a body spray. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever use that. So we're gonna get rid of that. And then also there's like a couple of these empty bottles, which is helpful. And then these two things, which this is interesting. How did this happen? Why did this get puffy? It makes me definitely not want to use it. This is a shower sheet from Uni. Definitely throwing that out because I don't know what happened to that. And then this is the Kevin Murphy Repair Me Rinse to help repair my hair. And this is almost empty, so I'm just going to use this up as well. And then here, there's like three more things. Razor that I'm just going to keep. And then I have an agave lip balm, which I really like from Bite Beauty, so we're keeping that. And then I have this. This is the last thing. This is from Drunk Elephant. And I got this because I really wanted to try their baby facial. Really want to try their baby facial, which obviously I've not tried. It's still in here. This by itself, I don't remember the exact price. I think it's like 60 bucks. But for like $65, I could get this whole kit. It was around Christmas, I think, so it might, might have been like a Christmas thing. But it has a jelly cleanser, um, their Lala Retro Whipped Cream, their eye serum and their luxury facial oil so i'm definitely keeping the baby facial but a couple of these might go in the little giveaway as well but then also when i was looking for my battery i just remembered that with this little giveaway thing i don't even really know what's going to be in it but it's going to be some of this skincare and then the other thing that i'm going to put in it hold on hold on hold on are these sunglasses so i bought these this is like the j-lo and key collaboration and i thought they looked so cool but i have a big face but it's very narrow and so a lot of these wide sunglasses don't look good on me but like i don't like these on me um and i have another pair of key sunglasses that i love but i wanted to give these away as well because they were final sale and i couldn't return them and uh so i'm gonna give them away so I'm going to have all the instructions in my description, but really it's just gonna be comment on this video. You can say whatever you want. I mean, please be nice, but um, give me either your email or your Instagram, like a way to reach you. And then I'm going to pick someone over the next you know, week or so. Please be in the US. And um, that's, really, that's really it. Be over 18, be in the US. Leave me either your email or your Instagram, a way to reach you. And then you're gonna win, again, I don't even know what's in this yet, but some skincare and these sunglasses. Okay, so now, let me show you guys the, the final stuff, because we're done now, we're done. So this is all that I'm keeping. And again, about half of that is gonna be gone when I move out anyway. But all of that's probably gonna stay about the same. So that's what I'm keeping, that I need to go through. This is what I'm keeping, but that just goes on my actual, like my vanity, because I use those every day. These are stuff that I'm, you know, we're thinking about these. We're gonna research and think about those, but that's some of the giveaway stuff. And then this is all the stuff to throw out, because it's either old and or I really don't like it. And with stuff like this, you can't exactly like give away. I know some donation places um, and like women's shelters and stuff take some things after they're open, so I need to do some research on that first um, before I you know give anything away or throw anything out and then here are my few things that I just need to try before I give away but we did it this is so much more manageable because literally everything I mean I'm just gonna throw that razor in there and those I leave out or this these two lotions I'm gonna leave out anyway so everything fits in these two bins which is great So really quickly, <clears throat> I went through this box. I'm basically just keeping most of the Biosense stuff and then one little Sunday Riley retinol to try that. The little Kiehl's thing and then these um, midnight oils. I'm just keeping that. So I added a few more things to this giveaway pile. Uh, Don't Despair Repair Mask from Briogeo, um, some Drunk Elephant, some Sunday Riley, Good Jeans, and a little CEO from Sunday Riley as well and this eye balm from Drunk Elephant, and then the tea tree cleansing gel with the Biosense peptide eye gel. And then again, I'm thinking about these two. We're thinking about that. But so it's gonna be at least these things. 
and then at least one or two of those things and again those were a hundred dollars each if you tried to buy them in the store so at least one of those a bunch of these little little trial things and the sunglasses are going to be in the giveaway okay so i tidied up here and put everything away and just wanted to show you now what my my bathroom looks like when everything's put away so toothbrush soap deodorant mouthwash hair serum castile soap that i just have all the time i wash my makeup brushes with it put my dry brush out to hopefully use that uh, toothpaste and then these like daily skincare things that i use every day and then i put the two bins away and i organize them a little bit before i put them away oh and i found the other mask i remember i said i had i think i said at least that i have the pink origins mask and i have the black one as well the charcoal one that was in my overnight bag so i just put that back in here so i just organized everything a little bit put it away so now everything is nice and tidy yay Okay, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I really like watching like declutter and collection videos. I think they're fun for me. So I really hope that you enjoyed this as well. And then again, I'm gonna do another video in about a month or six weeks or so. Even going through that stuff is gonna be much quicker, obviously, because I got rid of about half of the stuff that I had, which I'm really, really glad about. Um, because you know, that whole like, if it doesn't bring you joy, get rid of it kind of thing. And so having too much stuff that you don't love or that you don't use can kind of weigh you down. And so I really want to encourage you guys, like if you have a lot of skincare or makeup or clothes or even food in your pantry, if you have like a lot and you realize that like you haven't used half of it in a real long time, go through it. Go through it. If I was not talking during it, it, that would have only taken me, you know, 20 minutes to really go through and think about all that stuff. So, but I think it's good to, to declutter your stuff because it helps declutter your mind a little bit. I think that's gonna be it. Make sure that you're subscribed and following me on Instagram as well. I hope that you have a wonderful day and that's gonna be it. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.